News, sports, weather. This is the Gillinor News Network, GNN. Good evening, Gillinor. I'm Charles. Greg is off tonight. Getting to our first story of the night. Today's news post is on Poll 71 in the Fairox Enclave update. The first changes from Poll 71 are here. Jagex will be releasing new Superior Slayer creations in a Quality of Life update. The new creatures released are the Spiky Turoth, the Shadow Wyvern, the Guardian Drake, and the Colossal Hydra. They will have a chance to spawn their superior forms whenever you're doing a Slayer task. Next up we have more news about the costume room and player owned houses. The costume room will now work similar to the tool storage in the workshop. When upgrading your wardrobe you will no longer be able to take everything out so no bank runs are necessary for this update. You can use flat packs but the only drawback to this is you cannot skip to the highest tier storage container. You need to upgrade everything in order to get there. More on this topic will be coming as Jagex expense the poll this at a later date. You now have the ability to see set effects in your equipment window with Jagex adding a set bonus screen. If you do not see the new addition to your equipment screen, don't panic. That just means your armor you're wearing is, does not have a set effect. The button will not appear in free to play worlds. Farming herb patches. Herb patches will now change to the same color as the planted herb. In addition, the inspect option will now specify to what crop you're growing. In their news, Jagex has made some changes to the Ferox Enclave. Ferox will now be able to change the spawn location to the Enclave for free-to-play players along with having to do a one-time fee of 5 million coins for this change. Peridu is also now available in the Enclave to repair some of your untradeable items for a reasonable fee. He will be offering the turnover parchments to prevent the items from breaking in the first place. You can find Peridu next to the bank chests. Last Man Standing's leaderboards are now have been added to the Enclave as well. Finally, Jagex would like to clarify how sculling and high risk squirrels to indicate that upon death you will lose all of your items just as you would if you're sculled. A skull will appear above your head everywhere in a high risk PvP world. And upon entering the wilderness on very high risk worlds, the new skull will look like this. On a final note, Jagex said there might not be an update next week. They cite for this being the fact that they are busy updating their in house tools. They will make an announcement on Monday whether or not they'll have the update. And that has been what's going on in Gillinor for today. I'm Charles, signing up for tonight. Good night. Thanks for watching.